So the question of the day, can you run a marathon, do tons of cardio and still maintain, if not gain muscle? Well, we'll soon find out. Stir you into it, let's go. 36K in, 36K, 36K left, in. let's go. Let's go, you look good. Awesome work, push, push, push. So many, many years ago when I started fitness, I did start actually as an endurance athlete. I was a cross country runner and this was 12 plus years ago. But at a certain point after just being super competitive with that, I was just tired of being skinny, of just not feeling great. I went on a journey just to gain tons of muscle, focus on just trying to reach my natural limits, you know, just do some powerlifting competitions, physique competitions and all that great stuff. And that was incredible. I got up to some incredible strength records, you know, just put on some size. But it got to a certain point where I started to think, there's no way you can do cardio. You know, this was before being a coach and starting to realize that it is definitely possible, but I always had the mindset that you can only focus on one thing at a time and you should never do two things. And that was a huge common belief and I find so many people right now still struggle with this and still have that mindset of just, the more that you run, you know, you're just gonna be destroying your muscle mass, no cardio, I'm trying to bulk up, I'm trying to get huge, and I'm here to destroy that myth. So. Basically two years ago, I decided to do my first ever marathon after taking a long break from running. It was an amazing accomplishment. I'm so proud that I did it, but my main objective was essentially to just try to maintain as much muscle mass as possible, right? I got up to the point where I was doing about 50 miles of running a week while trying to maintain my muscle mass. My main goal was to do this amazing accomplishment to, you know, just do it as fast as I possibly could and be the biggest guy out there, you know, just not be one of those guys who just turns into a skinny marathon honor you know of course hey there's some people out there who do some incredible times that's awesome that's their main focus but I want to be as strong as I physically could be as jacked as I could and also complete this amazing accomplishment in about three hours and 15 minutes that was actually my original goal and I'm really proud to say that I hit exactly that I'm not even kidding I had a screenshot of exactly what I, what I wanted to hit went out there and did that so that was incredible but here are some amazing tips on what I think can definitely help you out in maintaining muscle mass while doing a lot of cardio at the same time. This is the finish. Come on, big finish, big finish. Oh, oh. What was my time? 3, 3 15, 40, 52. So when it actually comes to training, one of the biggest things, as we all know, you are gonna be burning so many calories. I was at the point where I was doing five runs a week, sometimes six, I would do a bonus one, and it was just insane. Like my energy output was just through the roof. And this is where a lot of people struggle is they don't actually know how much they're taking in, right? They know that they're burning a lot. There's just so much involved, everything that they're doing. If they are some sort of runner or, you know, just whatever it is that you're doing very like cardio based, um, it's possible that you are active in other areas of your life as well. So for me personally, I would always keep track of my nutrition no matter what. Even if I felt like I kind of was getting the hang of it, that's when I would start to slack off and that's where a lot of people struggle. So every single day I would keep track of my calorie input. There'd be some days I'm super low and it's a good reminder, okay, cool, I gotta bump that up. So the biggest thing is just filling yourself up with enough food because when some people start embarking on this, you know, running journey and all this stuff, you'll often hear, oh, I lost 10 pounds, I lost 15 pounds. So I started roughly the same weight and I ended at the same weight I just got faster and essentially just maintained my body weight because I was eating a good amount of food and this is where a lot of people struggle because I mean it's hard to eat that much but sometimes you got to force feed yourself you got to fit in that unhealthier thing to be able to get your calories up you got to keep track and it'll go such a long way and number two here is going to be strength training while still pushing yourself and this is very challenging i'm not going to lie especially from a time perspective because running especially once again whether you're doing a half marathon marathon iron man some sort of like longer distance more time intensive uh, event it's going to eat up a lot of your time you know between just trying to do the drills trying to do mobility trying to do the runs the speed work the longer you know slow work like it, it takes a lot of time and this is where a lot of people once they begin this journey they say well strength training is getting pushed to the side I'll do maybe one strength training session a week whatever it is I made sure to do a minimum of four strength training sessions I would usually do three upper body one lower body and know that it's gonna be tough but my biggest thing once again was to just not allow myself to just let myself go to lose all my strength and one of the biggest things a lot of people don't realize when it comes to running being powerful just off the line like you know just whether it's a shorter or longer distance event is that having proper strength is one of the greatest things that you can do it helps prevent injuries it helps you just become strong you know you're halfway through that marathon your your legs are super sore but it's gone through a bunch of different leg days you've done a lot of single leg work like often people neglect this and for me personally i was still trying to squat once a week deadlift once a week bench twice a week and do a lot of 
heavy compounds. And once again, this was definitely not easy. A lot of it came down to having the right structure and planning out my week. That's where so many people struggle. I would sit down every Sunday and I would say, okay, here are my five runs for the week. Here are my four lifting sessions. How am I gonna get this in? There'd be some times I'd wake up on a Saturday morning, literally five o'clock. I wanted to be in bed, but I said, you know what? This is the only way I can squeeze this in. A lot of days I had to double up. So I remember specifically Tuesday morning, the marathon was my priority, of course. So I had to make sure to put running beforehand. But Tuesday morning, I wake up, I do 15 to 20 kilometers. I take four to five hour break, get a bunch of work done, do all my stuff, and then go hit the gym later on. And of course my strength training on that day was neglected, but I was still, still able to push through push myself through progressive overload in one way or another and maintain the strength gain. So once again, strength training will be one of your greatest best friends throughout this and it's something a lot of people do unfortunately neglect. And next up, number three, we've already talked about calories, but here it's gonna be hitting your protein intake. A lot of people struggle with this, unfortunately, but for me, I made sure to have at least one gram per pound that I weigh, but because I knew I was doing so much running and just so much cardio, I did make sure to try to go above and beyond and have a little bit more than that to try to compensate. And once again, when it comes down to not tracking, unfortunately, when you don't have the data and you can't actually see what's going on, it's very hard to make changes. It's very hard to be accountable. And I highly recommend making sure that you're getting a solid amount of protein. And the best way to get a solid amount of protein is just having that plan, right? Similar to the workouts, a lot of times people struggle because their day gets busy, they just go about their day. Next thing you know, you've had 100 grams of protein, you're 170, 180 pounds, it's like, well, I had no idea, right? The day's done and because you weren't keeping track of it. So once again, what gets tracked gets managed for me personally. I always keep track of my strength training workouts, you know, just my cardio protocols. Like I'd have spreadsheets calculated. I was very meticulous throughout this process and that's where I feel like once again, a lot of people struggle is just kind of winging it, right? So nutrition, strength training on top of your cardio running training program, whatever it is, those three things, if you manage it, if you track it, I know it's a lot, but it's what really sets the difference between people who struggle with a lot of this stuff and people who excel and get some incredible results. Hit your protein, it's a building block of maintaining muscle, of building muscle for recovery. It is one of the greatest things. Of course, carbs, fats have its purpose, but you need to make sure you're hitting your protein. And number four is simply get out of your own head. Once again, I know so many people who just in their head, in their mind, they have these made up beliefs and it's, it's very easy to believe that, right? You know, to go onto this journey and just be told something saying, you know what, you start running, you eat away at your muscle, you start doing all this movement, you start burning calories, you do this, you're just gonna become skinny, you're just gonna be turned into nothing. Like, I've heard it all before, I used to have all these beliefs, and once again, there will be muscle loss. Like, there's no way around it, unfortunately, when you do that much, especially marathon training, it is a lot, but my point here is that it is definitely possible to minimize it, and a lot of it comes within your mindset, right? I know it sounds kind of crazy to think it, but if you go into something thinking this is gonna be hard, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be hard. If you go in with a different mindset, I can do it, I'm gonna maintain my muscle, I'm gonna push through, you know, I'm gonna make this work, like it's it's all comes down to mindset, and that's one of the greatest things about accomplishing my marathon and doing that training, like there was just, hundreds of times getting out there. I did not want to do it. The amount of times I didn't want to hit legs or do strength training or do that mobility, but your mindset is the most powerful thing. And if you can control your mindset and luckily enough going through this marathon, my first ever one, I'm so happy I got to do it. I was able to learn a lot about myself. I was able to just push my mind to the next level, like being out there for two, three, four hours by yourself, complete silence, maybe music, like whatever it is, like, and just pushing through that like pain and that kind of that point where you just you want to stop and you just you feel like you have nothing left but you're able to push past so much more one of the greatest things honestly it would it changed my life i feel like no matter what i do going forward i'm like oh well i've done a marathon you know i've done i've done this crazy thing and uh, accomplished an amazing goal so those are my biggest tips hopefully that helped make sure to smash that like button make sure to subscribe for more great content if you really want to see more about my training program and like what everything actually looked like i'd be happy to do a full deep dive the strength training the running program everything else like that who knows maybe i'll do another marathon in the future but comment down below smash that like button if you want to see more of this content but for now thank you so much for watching appreciate you all and we'll see you in the next episode peace out